Hey folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Castile, well now Spain of course, in fact the word Spain is quite large over here, over Mexico, wow, look at that. Uh, we are still nearing the end of this little playthrough, uh, I am going to sort of commit to going out to the east just a little bit, but um, we are going to wrap this up soon, partially because I'm just curious about playing other nations and experiencing the different starts, because those are always the most fun and exciting parts and, and that sort of thing. You know, it'd be it'd be cool to play. Um, I want to go back to Muscovy at some point. I actually would like to play in the uh, Indian subcontinent at some point as well. Maybe play a little Ming. We'll see. Um, but for that to happen, the Castile playthrough has to come to an end eventually. So we will uh, we will work on that. Economy is good. Ports are being blockaded down here, which is not very friendly of anyone. So let's go and grab a, uh, a handful of heavy carracks over here and go and blow up some pirates. Yar. Uh, we do have some claims. We have actually quite a few claims. Now, most of those, I believe, are over here in India. So, we are plotting our little attack there. We've got manpower is good. Uh, war exhaustion is nil. Um, let's see. Yo, currently at war. That's interesting. Allied with Ming. But that is all. So, we should be in pretty good shape to get something done. So, let me get these folks on a ship. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and boost up our maintenance rates. Actually, we'll pause, bring the speed down a little bit, because I just want to grab the rest of my characters over here for some blockading actions. Well, we'll cut it in half and send them over here. We'll take them a while to get there, but we may as well have some ships in this end. Alliance with Croatia, no, we're going to be fine without that. Let's go and speed things up just a bit so these guys will morale up. And we're going to head over to the coast. And... Um, Hmm, there's a, actually a lot of different options to claim. Oh, right, the uh, the supply problem, but that's not a big deal. Guatemala is now part of our core. Great. Uh, I guess we won't go quite that far. We'll see if we can't grab some provinces off the uh, coast of Gujarat here. That'll be one of the easiest things to pick up. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see exactly where we have the claims, but we should have claims pretty much every... That's why I couldn't declare war right away. Like, I knew, as I'm doing this, I'm going through the motions, I'm like, there's, there's something I've forgotten, something from the last episode, uh, which was filmed a couple of days ago, that I have forgotten, and uh, that is going to cause me some issues. Oh, right, the other reason that I want to stop this uh, playthrough is because I still have the couple of kind of glitchy rebels over here. They're not sieging anything, uh, they've got the, um, the exile flag, but they're, they're, they've got nowhere to go. They're both, no, well, they're Cherokee and Shawnee, and there's no Cherokee or Shawnee terrain. Definitely a bug. Um, Denmark has declared war on Sweden. Really? I didn't realize. Oh, that's right. There is still a Sweden-ish. Not much of one, though. I think that's going to be a short war, unless Sweden's got a whole lot of allies. So, yeah, I guess we've got to wait four years after all. I'm also spending a lot of admin points getting cores everywhere, which may or may not be a brilliant idea. Um, it's not strictly necessary, but what the hell. Uh, it will cut down on rebellion. The other alternative is I could release people as uh, vassals all over the place. It would eat up a lot of uh, diplomatic relations, but it's certainly possible. Uh, okay, we lost a cardinal, so let's deal with that first. Especially to, to France, we don't want any of that nonsense. Uh, core and core, lots of cores happening. Got some revolts happening over here, and I cannot automate this rebel stomper, so I'm going to have to manually walk him up there. It's kind of annoying. And then we'll tell him to walk back kind of over here. Nope. I don't think it registered my shift. Yeah, it did. Okay. That's fine. So you can queue up moves with shift. People always ask in the comments. And uh, it's a very, very, very useful tool. So we are plowing through the years quite quickly here. And again, mostly just waiting for that Regency Council to go off. Who the hell's the Orate Horde? I don't think they're on the map anywhere. It's interesting that Ryazan, Ryzen, whatever, is still independent-ish. No, Vassal of Ukraine. Oh, really? Curious. And Lithuania is split in two. Genoa is going a little bit. Georgia has actually done pretty well for itself. Cores, cores, cores. And sure, we'll get 25 money. Ferdinando Ponce de Leon. One of our advisors must certainly be one of the greatest scholars of our time. His field of expertise in patristics? I don't even know what that word is. Patristics. Hold on. Tabbing out. P 
Patristics. We're gonna. I, I'm gonna learn you a new word. So according to Wikipedia, patristics or patrology is the study of the early Christian writers that are designated church fathers. The names derive from the combined form of Latin pater, which means father, and I knew that. Uh, the period is generally considered to run from the end of the New Testament times or end of the Apostolic Age, uh, circa AD 100, to either AD 451, the date of the Council of Chalcedon, or the 8th century Second Council of Nicaea or Nicaea. Interesting, okay. It's quite relevant, actually, because many of the books of the Bible, for example, in the New Testament, for example, um, while they are, you know, purportedly accounts from the time of Jesus Christ, of around, you know, 1 to 30 AD-ish, somewhere around there, um, many of them were only put down in writing years later. Right? So it was sort of an oral history for a little while and then eventually written down. And even in the written form, there were a lot of documents kicking around and only some of them were kind of assembled into the actual, these were the four chosen gospels plus the extra books, right? The letters to so-and-so and, and, and whatever and revelations and all these things. Um, there was editing going on. There was various sort of, you know, accumulations. Which books are the right books to include? I mean, and, and I'm, I'm saying this from a, a tr trying to be a completely sort of neutral academic point of view, but even within, you know, the belief system, even as, you know, a devout Christian, there's still the idea that some of the books might have been heresies or lies or something like that. So you got to pick out the ones that are, you know, true and real versus the ones that are, are falsehoods uh, and filter all that out. And it's, um, it's actually a really interesting study of, uh, of lots of things. One of the most interesting things to check out on Wikipedia is, let me make sure that I've got this correctly. Yeah, read the article on the Q source of, um, it's just called Q source, or uh, there's also the two source hypothesis. Um, and technically this is a, an update. This is a relatively recent theory. Um, that basically there's these, there's the four gospels, right? And so, so there's Mark, Matthew, Luke, and I keep wanting to say John, but there is not a John. Um, four Gospels. Like, John did a lot of stuff, but he didn't actually have his own Gospel, right? Or am I getting confused? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Oh, no, no, there's... And the thing is, yeah, sorry, I'm spazzing out. Of course, but then there's all the other stuff afterwards. Anyway, ignoring that. So there's the four Gospels, right? Um, but the thing is, especially between Mark, Matthew, and Luke, there's all these similarities. Um... And some of the passages being almost exactly the same, that it seems to be that like some of them came later and, and were based on previous works and, and that sort of thing. And for a long time, I think uh, biblical scholars believed that, I don't know, there was some combination that came first and then another one. Um, Oh, yeah, so they, they thought it went, it started with Matthew, then Mark, then Luke, in sort of that order. Um, but then this two-source hypothesis is the idea that Matthew and Luke actually copied or based their written works on Mark and some other document, this other unnamed document that's just known as the Q-source. It's fascinating reading. Anyway, that I know that's like totally um, out there, but there we go. Um... Patristics, classical literature, great influence, theological debate. As a man of the middle ground, his views have made him a beacon for those who value liberty more than orthodoxy. So his efforts will be admired through the nation, gain one stability, and gain theologian for the next six years, which gives plus 2% missionary strength. Or reputation will reach further than our borders, which is 50 prestige and still the missionary strength. Um, okay, well... Stability is obviously the best. Now, ideally, I would have liked to have boosted myself to a plus two stability before I could take this, then go all the way up to the plus three stability, which is so expensive and hard to reach. But that's not really going to be an option, so we will go ahead and just get the free stability there. And yeah, I don't think there's any conversions available. Indeed, there is not. Anyway, yeah, patristics. Mm, Q source document. Seriously, seriously cool read. How old are we? Portugal on Luango. All right, well, good for you. You do that. Zapotec is cord. All right. Economy is going great. I mean, there's lots we could probably do to try to break up France. We could still potentially do something there. Core, core, core. Um, 
No, I'm going to decline the military access. Well, I suppose I could have, actually. I'm going to say, oh, I'll make Portugal happy. Well, Portugal's never going to be happy with me. You know what? You don't get military access either. Spend lots of points over here. Keep a lock on that guy. Currently at war, Austria, Bavaria... If it wasn't for the fact that I had so many troops away, this would be a good time to strike against France, wouldn't it? Um, Austria, tell you what I will do. I'll offer you some war subsidies. I'll offer you 30, sure, 30 gold a month for 12 months. Bam. Spend it wisely. Meanwhile, France, oops, there's no rebels to support. Really have that much stability, France? That is miserable. That is utterly miserable. Hmm. Portugal. Alright, so mostly we're still... What is with these pirates? Did I not send some people here? Barks, caravels, what is this? You guys. Come down here and clear up that mess, and then you can dock. Court painter available. Lately, we've been looking for painters or artists to adequately capture the glory of our monarch. Uh, that is a lot of money. But another stability? Fantastic. I will gladly pay 459 ducats or ducats and get plus up to plus three stability. That is exactly where I want to be. Still a fair number of uh, revolts possible, but we are working to get things cored, which should help a lot there. So... Yeah, there's still value to getting all that stuff cored. All right, let's Regency Council, man. Regency Council. Hmm. Okay, auto save, go away. Oh, down here, and there are some brutal rebels here. Oh, there's some serious uprisings. Okay, and we cleared out those pirates. Good. All right, well, we have enough troops this time around that we're not going to worry about losing it. And I can't believe I did not make the Madagascar closing all their ports joke before. That is such a fail. No thanks. Integrating Morocco. Excellent! I oh, mean, I have no legitimacy. This is starting to be a little bit dangerous. And we're currently losing leg legitimacy due to the Regency Council. But we have integrated Morocco. Look at that. One big combined border. We are quite over our force limit, so I'm wondering about trashing these guys. These extra troops that I just got. Let's do that, just to keep costs a little bit lower. We can convert some people. In fact, in less than a year, we will have these provinces converted. Wonderful. All of our diplomats are free. There's gotta be something we can be doing with these guys. Portugal. It's gotta be something. Right, Tunisia over here. Could fabricate a bunch of claims, which might be a good idea. The Mamluks are down to just that? And this is all Oman. Very impressive. Persia, Timurids. Very, very impressive, actually. I wonder at this point if we could just vassalize um, Swahili. Let's randomly create a claim. Say from the top, Mogadishu. I don't know what the numbers are. Port, we still have a blockaded port. It's being repaired. I don't even know if they can reach over here. No, but with an explorer they could. Let's go ahead and get us an, ourselves an explorer. There we go. And then we'll do the full loop around the coast and everything. Uh, the attrition actually might be brutal. We do have cores over here, so the distance is potentially manageable. We'll see how it goes. We might just lose that fleet. Oh well. I'm so uncaring. God, the Regency Council sucks. Two more years to go. We're slightly over our leader limit. That's alright. I, mean, I, oh, I was going to say, I guess I could declare war on someone over here. No, I can't. I really can't. we got Grain. We've got someone who changed their alliance. We're going to go ahead and may as well fabricate a claim on the coastal province over here of uh, Adal. Who cares about them? They're just, you know... They're not, they're not European Catholics, so therefore they're not important, right? I think that's how it works. I'm trying to roleplay as Spain here. Do not take this as a personal opinion of any kind. 
Especially with all the uh, the religious biblical talk we were doing earlier, because seriously, uh, yeah, religious I am not. I am intrigued by religion. Oman declared war on the Mamluks. That might be the end of them. Oh, there's even some over here. The only thing blocking it might be that they're too big to be completely annexed, which is almost certainly the case. It'd suck if they get vassalized. Ohio is now cored. Hey, and my leader, who's not great, but at 311, he's okay. Uh, sure, Tunisia, go ahead. Um, what was I looking for? National decision. I can pass the Liquor Act? Why? I have admin skill of three. I've got some power. And we've got a, either a treasurer or a statesman. And we've not unlocked knowledge transfer. Interesting. So, more expensive stability and the admin power cost, which sucks. Taxes, like 5% more taxes, that's a fair amount more money. The Blasphemy Act as well, which we will certainly take just because the name is awesome. More missionary strength, eh, less tolerance of heretics, potentially a little bit of a problem, although we are converting people over really fast, and more missionary strength will help. Now, there's an argument here to be made that the Liquor Act may not be worthwhile, because we don't really need the money that badly. However, oh, and I forgot, I increased my maintenance on my military while I couldn't actually go to war. Oh well. Um, but ultimately, I'm going to take it just to get rid of the notice, because it kind of annoys me that it's there. Dick Defender of the Faith, but who cares about that? Legitimacy is still rather low, and we currently have no legal heir, and that could definitely put us in a bad, bad, uncomfortable place. Um, still, I guess I'm not going to lower my uh, military sliders now, since it's now time to go to war. Sure, uh, actually, really, Oman? Hey, what, I'll accept, because why not? More manpower, or that's considerably more tax base, plus some extra money. Um... Frankly, at this point, money is good. Let's just keep cracking out the, uh, the tax base. Royal marriage offer from Great Britain. I like it. Also, let's make sure that our relations there stay pretty good. I really like it if uh, you join the coalition against France, but apparently that's not a thing that's going on. Jesuit mission founded. A monastic group from the Society of Jesus have traveled to New World to establish a mission in one of our colonies to Christianize the natives there. Ad maorem dea gloriam. So that's like glory of God, but I don't know what the, this word is. Uh, until the end of the game, we get 10% more local settler increase. Oh, in Kakeda. All right, so that'll colonize there, but that's okay. Uh, the Jesuits were pretty important in terms of... Um, in terms of, you know, doing work during the colonization process. Also, the current Pope is Jesuit, which is relatively uncommon. I mean, that's Catholic, but it's a particular branch of Catholicism um, that, uh, I don't know, they're more, I think they're more ascetic, you know, like poverty yay kind of thing. Um, oh. oh, no, that's the one we didn't invest many points in, so that works out okay. I'm, I'm going to try to just focus on these three for now. All right, let's declare war. We're going to declare war to take... Uh, actually, Surat might be very convenient. Um, Surat... Oh, it doesn't even highlight the nations. We can't get Malvana. We can get Malabar. Okay, I'm going to go for Malabar, because it's actually going to extend our reach the most, I think. I'm trying to read... Actually, that, that's as far as I'm willing to go. And that should actually... There's still going to be a bit of a, a support gap in the middle, I think. But this should actually do a pretty good job of extending our reach and giving us an extra port. Allied with Ming, they rule over Nepal and Vanad. Yeah, we can handle that. We will not need any uh, allies on here. We got some Sunni zealots instantly. That's interesting. Are they Sunni? No, they're Hindu, which is what I thought, because I've actually played a game as Vijayanagar, Vijayanagar, Vijayan, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce the J here. Anyway, as these guys, I've played a game as these guys, the the Vijay, and um, it's actually, it's, it's quite fun, and it is pretty good to unite uh, India as them, and yeah, so I knew, like, that they could potentially be Hindu. They got a fair number of troops, but they may have converted because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of Muslim stuff going on in this region. Um, that is a big army. I don't want to do a naval landing. What I'll do is I'll land next to them and see if I can uh, attack them at that point. Um, yeah. So, Marrakesh. Oh, 
Okay, go on Rebel Stomp Duty. I know you got a long way to walk, and I'm sorry about that. I suppose I should pick up Defender of the Faith. It's not really gonna matter, never mind. No, I'm gonna leave it off. Don't need it. Unload there. Wanna battle in the Gulf. Oh! The, those pirates. Good. Oh, and as I recall, I'm moving in to potentially take out, um... To take out the Incas at some point, that's right. Okay, that's enough Rebel Stompers. Probably these eight will be enough to take out the Incas, actually. Hopefully in a relatively quick manner. Meanwhile... Ottomans want military access? Sure. My default position is generally to auto-accept. Oh, maybe I should have taken the Amphibious Landing. I didn't really... I forgot that they'd be so weakened um, in terms of uh, morale. So I just hit D twice to detach two sieges so I can send some ships back here. And it moves most of my navy in this general area where ships are. Actually, we're getting attrition here, aren't we? Yeah, blockading is not something that's going to happen. I'm being, I'm being foolish. It'd be nice to shorten those sieges, but attrition kind of got some bad potential. Are they really going to outrun me? Are they going to be able to do that? Hopefully not. He's a pretty good leader, actually. He's got the siege three everywhere. I mean, he's not a great leader, but he's a pretty good general. Yeah, easy defeat. What's their tech level? Wow! They have 15? I had no idea they were so well equipped. So, I have Mauritian infantry. They have South Indian infantry. 4 2, 4 2, 4 3. 4 3, 4 1, 7. We have a lot more morale. But in actual potential for the damage, it's pretty similar. We do have a lot more, um, well, we have a higher base morale as well, globally, and a higher discipline, but our individual units are also better off. Ah, more conversions. So yeah, it has officially been patched as well, when we break this army, that you cannot, like, it's definitely intended that you cannot tell where they're going with their Shattered Retreat, which is probably good. Um, I'm generally going to march down here to Malabar. We'll see what else we can do. Fish in Kakeda. Coffee here. Actually, you know what? Detach. Stop. Detach a siege. You guys go there. We're going to try to manually follow. Meanwhile, you guys go down to Malabar. And we'll see if we can't start the siege there. Ships are almost safely back in port. see where we can go. I've also, uh, in playing some other games, I'm really a huge fan of the fixed 1% attrition while sieging thing. I, it's great. It changes so much of the game dynamic in a really wonderful and beautiful way. Um, let's go ahead and take the idea. Cavalry combat ability, sure, that's fine. I mean, I know, you know, there's a lot of reasons to keep going up the tech route, but um, that's going to be okay too. Now, we know they're the same tech level. That's actually a little bit scary now all of a sudden. Anyway, yeah, let's both meet up over here in Canera. Oh, we've converted some people or assimilated some natives there. Now, we should be able to win this. Assuming we got half decent rolls, which is a bit of a gamble, it is at least flat. Um, I'm worried about them all combining, though. So you know what? We're not going to go to Malabar. We're just going to sort of bypass these guys. Let's see if we can't hunt down that other army. In hindsight. No attrition while moving, which is awfully handy. There they are get them while they have no morale. We will take a river crossing, but I will still gladly take this fight. We didn't get a river crossing. That's odd. No claim on Fez. Lost a CB. We can invest in a technology, um, which seems like an excellent idea, actually. We will need diplomatic ability to negotiate a peace, but we'll have time for that. France. And we're not killing that many of them. And I think they did reduce the amount of troops that die in these battles. So we could potentially be chasing these guys down quite a bit. Which would be a little annoying. Oh, oh, they're maybe going to join this battle. 
I need the, yeah, there we go. I needed the 19 troops to break before that happened. Hopefully, there's the river crossing. Did I come in from the side? Is that why there wasn't one? I don't know. Yeah, go for the trade power. All right, battle is joined. No river crossing. That's really bizarre. And we are definitely on the back foot there. They have a lot more troops. We lost the Battle of Marrakesh. Wow, okay. What kind of uh, troop mix do we have here? No cannons. All right, let's um, queue up a couple of cannons down here to add to that group. I did not expect India to be such a tough nut to crack. I should have looked at the uh, tech thing. Again, we do have much, much higher morale. And apparently we're, we're doing the good rolls thing. Uh, oh, more native assimilation in the same place. It looks like we're going to be able to hold off here. We're going to lose a lot of troops, and our um, reinforcement rate is not fantastic. Um, can I hire... No. No mercenaries in an overseas province. That's kind of rough. Hmm. I'd like to start some blockades, but I should have seen if I could just grab Ceylon, apparently. Oh, that hurt. All right, let's go to Malabar and just park ourselves there. Well, hang on, I say that. I could just be chasing these guys down. If I can get any morale back whatsoever. Again, I've lost a lot of people. But if I can gauge them while they're broken... Kentucky is cord, that's good. They're far away for reinforcements. This is the place where people keep getting freaking assimilated. Apparently not that assimilated, or there's some people that reject that idea. Byzantium declared war on the knights. I can't believe like Byzantium, go Byzantium. You're doing well. Where are they going? Oh, they're going to Desh. Alright. Where are they going to end up? Surat. I mean, I could just be blockading, but I'm really hoping to trim down their army. If they can somehow reorganize and hit me with like 40k, then I'm definitely going to be screwed. Sunni Zealots in Marrakesh. Oh, when we lost that siege. Damn. I don't th Do I have any transports left over here? No. I wish there was a land bridge here across the Straits of Gibraltar. I really, really wish. How far am I going to have to chase these guys? I mean, my morale is all back. What I really want is some reinforcements. I don't have quite enough cavalry here. Oh! Are they coming at me? They are. Potentially a river crossing. They've got a potential for reinforcements nearby, but not that many. They have a lot of troops. Should win, but we are losing some huge numbers. This is where? This is in North America? Central America? Hmm. Well, well, well. There comes the reinforcements. We're going to win that fight, but then we're going to lose the follow-up. And we're going to be in really terrible shape. Oh, we didn't even finish the fight. And I don't think they're going to break in time. They may! Oh, with a 9 and 1? Gaining a core is good. Oh, gosh. We did win. But the problem is, without sufficient reinforcements, we're not going to be able to take our war goal. Um, I wonder if there's a hilly place I could park myself. Or if I should just go and pick up my troops and pull out. Lost the general. I suppose I could build troops over here as well. Hmm. India. You're supposed to just roll over and die. We got a salt crisis. It's kind of annoying.
Hmm. Haven't you heard about, like, colonialism? You're not supposed to be this tough of a nut. That is really good military tech. I'm shocked. They're very far behind an admin. Can I support rebels? Yeah. This is the most expensive. I think this is most provinces. The chances are the lower. But that's a lot of provinces, and it might accumulate to more. I'm not sure. Let's do that. I got money to burn. I'm going to unload these infantry, but if we see troops coming, we're actually just going to run, I think. Um, sure, more papal influence. Why not? Matter we're getting attrition. 5% is pretty rough. We can't really leave the ships here. Although, if we're able to take this port, then we can block in. And we can land the ships and do a little bit of repair, and that'll be very, very nice. Wow, they do not have very good forts, I don't think. More assimilation. That's in uh, Madagascar again. Very helpful. Well, we have a lot of cannons. We do have a siege leader. Yeah, the cannons are making a hell of a difference. Holy cow. In fact, what I should do is go ahead and split off like this. Actually, merge, split. Not a detach, but a split. And grab two. Well, I say that. You know what? No, finish the siege. Let's not split the cannons. Oh, here they come. Frack. Abandon. We're not going to make it. Uh-oh. Wow. India. Should have taken Defender of the Faith. Although, well, they're only a minus one river crossing. Like, we're in great shape, except that we just don't have enough people. We have a lot of extra manpower. Did we make it to the ship? Yes, good. Okay, let's go back to friendly territory and regroup here. Figure out what the hell we're going to do. the hell are we going to do? Maybe you should have declared war over here. There's still time to do that sort of thing. Oh! That's... I didn't realize I still had rebel hunting on over there. That's actually very dangerous. Sweet! No longer a colony. Fantastic! Let's, uh, while we're here, we'll go ahead and send a colonist. Why not? Alright, so we made it out with our units. We just have to wait for our manpower to reinforce. Speaking of which, we have morale of the army bonus, which is nice. What we want is, yeah, let's take the reinforcement speed. Try to get those guys back in the action as soon as possible. And I'm not going to uh, merge my people. Oh, wow, that's currently a low rate. Oh, good, they're fighting each other. If they can purge those crappy, annoying people, that uh, the old patriots... Oh, they will. So that actually cleans up one of the bugged groups. More revolt risk. Slaves in South Dome. Damn slaves. See, this wouldn't have happened if there were still oranges. It would actually be really funny if it was an orange revolt, though. Core. Oh no! Bureaucracy sometimes just doesn't work. The wrong men in the wrong places can lead to corrupt practices which hurt the country's income. Even worse, it will take a few years to get the proper paperwork to change it. 2.5% less tax modifier for five years. Very unfortunate. Although not as unfortunate what's happened here. Good God, that was brutal. I mean, I know I'm still over my force limit, and I suppose I could merge things. Insult from Austria after I'm supporting you guys? That's just rude. Hmm. Reinforcement rate. Well, they're coming relatively quick. It'll be a year. Yeah, we're going to have to see if we can't drop off some troops here or something. Yeah, and if they come at me in one big group, though, I'm still screwed. Actually, I guess I'll go to the island first. Damn. And we'll defend her the faith right before we go in there again. Hmm. 
how's my naval force limit? I'm capped. Let's say I could get some more cogs. Well, they're not cogs anymore, but still. <laughs> What's my rebellion risk at now? Much, much better. Come along very well. Woo! Nice air. All right, that's nothing wrong with that. All right, so about four months will be fully reinforced. Hansa declares war in Brandenburg. France is spreading out more in North America. Legitimacy is going up, which makes me feel good, actually. It's not critically important, but it feels good. All right, that's going to be enough people. Let's go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say it's going to leave some people behind. Um, unless I go ahead and merge the troops, actually. Or at least some of them, perhaps. Like that. You guys can consolidate. You guys can merge together. And then everyone gets on a ship. That's fine. I'm going to sail all the way down here, land on Ceylon. Ceylon. It's like the T, right? I think it's famous. Portugal! Oh wait, that's Cape Verde. Sorry, I thought I was off the coast of uh, India. I was like, there's islands here? Portugal settled here? What? When did that happen? Yay, self-sustaining. And yeah, we will be coring these things. Alright, France. Stop screwing with me. So that should give us a colonist back. Indeed it does. Um, oh, this is really dangerous over here. Oh, we got some troops here. Tell you what, we are going to... Wow, Portugal. Holy crap. We're going to go and grab that province while we still can then. There's an island here. Terra Incognita. Really? Which makes me think I do have my explorer group over here. Somewhere? Yeah. Let's dock here for a sec. And then do some Terra Incognita up the coast and come back down. Okay. We have to keep our ships around. Well, it might be okay. I'll take the heavy ships and go ahead and blockade those. Uh, that navy, wherever it was. It's rough. Another self sustaining colony. These cardinals are just not cutting anymore. We're having some real difficulty now. And I blame India. Can we go? Where do we have to go to be supplied over here? It's quite far. But I think it's going to be worth doing just for a moment. Do some convertings in Marrakesh. Let's grab the Defender of Faith again. I want the extra bonus to the combat, even though, I don't know. We don't have that much money kicking around. We're losing at a pretty good rate, but I think we're still supporting Austria. Diplomatic expenses, yeah. I mean, that's not everything. A big part of it, I think, is going to be the range that's involved in some of this. Whoa, that was a little... F I was actually about to bring my transports back, regardless, I was going to say. Oh, it'll probably be over by the time I get there. Apparently it happened a little faster than expected. Let's go ahead and knock these ships as well, so they can do a little repair. I think you can repair in occupied provinces. I think. The ticking war score that we're getting for not holding the war goal, though, is just brutal. Yeah, see, it'll repair. But speaking of... Oh, right, these are not transports, that's why I couldn't board them. More cores. Let's 
go ahead, we're going to drop everything in Malabar. If he comes at me with my big stack, well, at least this time I won't just have nine people, so hopefully I can do it okay. And then I'll send the ships back to Ceylon. Would be nice to actually uh, help with the blockade, though. I'm going to have to do that. I can send the transports back. Oops. Yeah, i got to wait for the people to disembark. Austria. Netherlands declare independence. After years of subjugation and alleged injustices forced on them by what is perceived as foreign rule, our province in the lower countries... Our province. Oh, I guess Austria. Yeah. Uh, and the lo low countries have signed an act of abjuration, renouncing their oath to Austria and declared independence. Certainly a problem. Any, if you have any of the, uh, the provinces from over here, is it just, that's it? Huh. Uh, if you have any of these provinces, there's always a chance, or it's almost inevitable that there will be this sort of independency kind of thing. Uh, it's certainly a problem if you're playing as Burgundy. Um, that you'll get this independence event. Which is why if you're playing as Burgundy, you usually want to spend your money improving your territory, your French holdings, um, as much as possible, and not putting as much effort into the, uh, the Netherlandish, Netherlandish, I guess, provinces, uh, because there's a good chance you'll probably lose them to this event. All right. Yeah, sure, Netherlands, go ahead. Go nuts. Um, siege progress, there we go. Alright, again, we still have some pretty significant siege bonuses, so that is helpful. Ships are still doing okay, so that's good. Being repaired at a pretty good rate, actually. And if we can flip this, that's going to be the huge boost in a war goal. Get a new idea. Really? Oh, lowered interest. Um, we don't have any bank loans. Uh, more possible advisors, land modifier, production efficiency. It might be time to start going up there. Inflation costs. Well, inflation is not really a thing. Or we can get the 10% inflation there. Or um, production efficiency. What the hell? Let's take the idea. Let's see if we can't finish off some more. Plus, we'll unlock more national ideas. We're almost at Treasure Fleet for Global Tariff Bonus, which is actually going to be pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Walls are breached. We could assault, but I really need to keep as many people here as, uh, as possible. I suppose what I could do is potentially go and pick up some... Well, I guess pick up no one. Never mind. With my transports. Oh, we could do a swap. I could bring those transports over here and bring half my uh, Carex to repair. And then we'll re-swap. Assassination of a noble. What is this? Crusader kings? Oh, more events. Pause. Noble families were the bulwarks of power during these times. Assassination of a powerful house leader was seen as a critical blow to those families' fortune. With the rise of religious strife, assassinations of rival religions, nobles became increasingly common. Insolve amongst themselves, lose legitimacy. I'm already low on legitimacy. Or take control of the situation. Ah! How important is legitimacy? And you know, I'm gaining it pretty fast. Let's accept it. Spread of disease. Ooh. Where is this? In a couple places. Lose 500, lose 200, get disregard of natives, decreases settler chance and overseas income. That is brutal. Or attempt to assuage their pain, which is only 40 gold, and then actually get some pretty nice bonuses. So we're definitely going to do that. Oh, it only lasts for uh, just over a month anyway, so it's not a huge deal, but what the hell. We'll take it. It's the population loss that I'm trying to avoid. Could assault, but I, yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Interesting that they're not coming after me, though. Lots of natives. It's got an unlucky roll. More cores. Oh, my little explorers. And then come back home. All right, we won all of our native battles. Oh, we gotta cut this episode in a moment. We'll wait for the siege to finish, and then we'll uh, we'll put a cut in after that. Come on, should finish any month? Maybe this month. Auto saving. Nope, but we did lose another cardinal. Let's get back in control. Converted Marrakesh, lovely. 
that war score. It's 16 because of Malabar. So that'll reset the huge negative I've got and then give me a ticking war score in my favor. So eventually they will give in, even if I do nothing else. Although I will probably move to Kanar. Fully repaired, good. Let's go ahead and take these caravels and swap. We'll keep sort of cycling these all in and out and getting repaired. One Malabar. Excellent. So we're going to move to Kanara, and we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.